Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna to go over how to draw a Nandy Canoer. Uh, that is a parrot. Uh, we're gonna go through this very easily and simply. So if you love drawing birds, this is it. This is a parrot. Uh, we're gonna be using this uh, Crayola brand marker and I'm gonna be using a regular printing paper. So it's completely for beginners and step-by-step. -step. So let us get started on this. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the top part of the head right here. It's gonna curve at the top. I'm gonna to pull down a bit here, just a bit at the edge here, I'm gonna pull down a bit. And I'm going to not draw the beak yet. I'm gonna draw a line here, kind of right before the beak. The beak is gonna be out that way. I draw a line down. Curve at the top of that beak. Pull up. There's gonna be a different curvature here. We're, we're drawing basically the top beak right now. And then I'm gonna finish that beak off with the bottom beak. It's just a straight line. Hopefully this kind of makes sense. Uh, pulling down here where the feathers are kind of gonna run into it. And I'm gonna curve back here and I'm gonna find the back portion of the head. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna find the circle of the eye. And let's go into the back of the actual bird. It's gonna curve a line there. It's gonna go downward. Pulling a curved line for the stomach area. Also, do not forget, subscribe to the channel if you can. Uh, I'm gonna be posting, uh, well basically, if you like learning a little bit about drawing, a little bit more about drawing every single you know weekday, uh, you're gonna love this. So definitely subscribe if you like learning a little bit more. You get a little bit more drawing every day. Uh, it's gonna be step-by-step -step for beginners everything. Everything's gonna be totally easy. Uh, and it's gonna be three every single day, every single weekday. So that's 15 videos a week. When you subscribe for free, it's totally free to subscribe. Uh, it's gonna show you probably every fourth video, I bet, on your feed. It's not gonna like overwhelm you. Um, and then, yeah, there's really no downside to it. It helps the algorithm out in general. And if you find my work to be worth your time, please consider it. Um, it really just helps out as well on the channel. So anyways, that's that quick announcement. Let's go over here and I'm gonna pull the top portion, a curve for the top part of the wing. And that's gonna pull downward here and then back. You could make that all one curve, by the way. It doesn't have to be like that. And the bottom of the wing is gonna peek out there because he's kind of closed up, pulling back. He's got a pretty long tail, but it might run off the page. So I'm gonna have to sheet it here. I'm gonna make it like two prong there. And it's gonna pull upward. He's got his bird tail out here. I'm gonna have his feet stick out here, stick out here. It's kind of fuzzy in the top part of his leg. I'm gonna draw like a, you know, zigzag shape here to kind of indicating he's got like ruffly feathers. Like, uh, you know, the top part of his leg. Pulling out, down. Same thing here, pulling out, down. And he's got his, essentially just his claws right here. His claws are very, very simple right there. And then you can do his back foot if you want, but you don't really have to. He's probably gonna be perched somewhere. You can probably just do the a shape in the back, which is uh, more or less kind of equivocating that. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do a couple of things. Well, one, I wanna throw the ruffles in the feathers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw these U shapes kind of just uh, semi-randomly around his wing.
and that's gonna show, see all these U shapes? And just kinda, again, pretty random. And that's gonna show texture of, uh, you know, his wings there. So now what I wanna do is I wanna create a thicker line around the border. I'm gonna th create a thicker line uh, around the contour to give it a clearer look. It's already pretty thick around the tail here. Going up here. While I'm doing that, I'll talk to you about the channel. So I draw constantly. I am drawing three of these a day. I love the drawing portion of it. Um, absolutely love it. Uh, sometimes though, it's uh, the editing that is pretty hard. The editing is something that, actually I'm gonna draw a dot right here for the nose. It's the dot. Uh, the editing can be very uh, time consuming and that stuff is really, really hard. Um, if you ever wanted to help the channel, uh, the one and truly best thing you can possibly do, which really helps and is very evident when people do it, is uh, sharing a video. When you share a video, it brings this huge positive boost to the channel. Ooh, there's a car outside. Uh, there's a huge positive boost to the channel and it just kind of helps me out because uh, this stuff really seems worth it when I, I get feedback from people, whether it be, you know, like, again, more people in the comments saying hi or, or more people say how your day is or, or um, just kind of like seeing the traffic flow. It's like, oh, okay, there's actually somebody, you know, there's somebody paying, there's somebody out there I'm talking to. It's not just, um, you know, I'm not shooting it into the void, this stuff. Um, you know, I'm not totally alone. And so kind of when you share it, it that it boosts that a lot and I just kind of it makes me feel wow like this is all worth it and I love it um, I'm gonna do one thing right now that I never ever do but I think I need it so this breed of bird I think what really makes him different this breed of parrot is uh, he has a black um, mark on the face and I need to do that I couldn't figure out how to do that with a black marker so I'm gonna use for the first time ever by the way a grayscale this is a t1 a toner one gray. I think it's a warm. I'm not sure. It's a Copic marker. I never ever use these. I used to use these uh, at school, but I'm gonna use it for this because I need to put a dark pattern on his face. So I'm gonna outline just a dark, just a like a like a kind of dark shape right here. He's wearing like a mask of some kind. I don't even know if it'll appear. Actually, it's pretty. We'll see. But we're gonna try it out together, and it's gonna be experimental for everybody. So I'm gonna throw, I don't know, see that might be too light, but I'm still gonna put it in there. I think it might be too light. And I'm gonna put this in here pretty carefully and I'm gonna just kinda keep it moist. Like that whole area, I'm gonna keep moist. Yeah, this might not show up because it's so faint. I don't want it to like overwhelm the whole thing because of, uh, you know, the marker. And I guess it also goes into the beak as well. The beak is pretty dark, like in their, in their, uh, as far as their, they, they, uh, their color goes in real life. Mandy Canoor, I never heard of this. Somebody just requested it, that was really cool. Ah, uh, you know, let's see. Let's see, that might have worked, I don't know. It might, you might barely be able to see it because I tend to alter the video a bit to make it better to make it more clear. So you might not even be able to see that, but if you do, well, there you go. That's just mostly a bonus. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys watching. It's been amazing here. Like I said, it's very similar to tipping your waiter, but you know, uh, it's different with a waiter tip, right? Because that one you're giving actual money. Here, I guess when you share a video, it's just kinda, I guess it's just you're spending your time. It's, it's about like a minute, I guess, or less to just press the share button, share it on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr or anywhere like that. It'll just help me out. Also, if you got to this point, do me a huge favor and say hi in the comments, because if you said hi, I'll know you got to this point. And I'll be like, oh cool, you, I'll know that you finished it. Thank you so much, I'll see you next time. This has been Easy Pictures to Draw and I'll talk to you soon.